what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix your sound or every kind of sound issue you're currently having in red dead redemption 2 so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issues before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be a big support for me guys. You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit I'm gonna really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that and I would just say let's get right started So here's the first step. I want you to obviously uh, if you have an headset or a mic Which is plugged in by USB I want you to change the USB port because sometimes the USB port could be broken So do that and we're not obviously not gonna leave it like that. You're gonna also do something more so uh, what I want you to do is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings and clicking right onto the first one where it says system. What I want you to do next is obviously going to be to click onto sound. And here we are, we have output and input device. And I'm going to start with the output device as the first one. I want you to choose your output device and choose the right one. Afterwards, I want you to click on the troubleshoot. So Windows is going to search for some issues. If Windows doesn't find anything, I want you to click onto device properties. And as the first step, I want you to have a look at disable if this is disabled. What you want you to do next is going to be to go to the right hand side and clicking on additional device properties. What I want you to do next is going to be to look at device usage and check if this is really enabled. As the next step, I want you to click on the levels and look if your levels are as high as you want. As uh, the next step, or the last step right here, I want you to click on the advanced. And um, I can't really tell you now to use this or that audio channel. You need to check it for your system specifically. Just try it out and look what is working better. So once you're finished here, you're going to be hit. Uh, you're going to hit apply and okay. What I want you to do next is going to be to turn. Uh, we'll come back and do the same thing for your input device. So choose your input device, which is the right one for you. Afterwards, hit troubleshoot and look if Windows uh, find uh, finds any issues. If Windows doesn't find any issues, we're going to click Apple device properties. Have a look at disabled. Uh, navigate to the right hand side. Additional device properties. Have a look at device usage if it is enabled. Click on to levels. Look if your levels are as high as you want and choose an audio channel. So once you did that, I want you to hit apply and OK. And that's it guys. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah guys, uh, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.